Hi Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel, the Zodiac Love Tarot. I'm Jennifer Winters and this is your Sagittarius March 2020 Astrology Tarot Reading. And as you can see, I'm dressed up in my St. Patty's outfit and I know that a lot of us were not able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day because of the coronavirus and that is really putting a damper on a lot of people. And it's also put a damper on my abilities to really be an empath and let you guys, you know, in, when I say let you guys in is like be able to use, you know, my empathic abilities to hear your story and to feel your story because all I'm getting really is just one channel right now and it's all coronavirus. So what I was trying to do is switch the channel up a little bit and try to give you a really positive um, reading about Jupiter and to tell you where Jupiter is in your house this month and see what kind of blessings and what kind of luck would be coming your way even in you know in the midst of like everything that we're going through and I actually had my daughter with me who was reading a lot of the was on the readings with me and some of the uh, earlier uh, signs that I did which was um, Aries through Leo and then we got to Virgo in my computer um, said I didn't have enough space to save any more of my videos, so then I had to do a bunch of, you know, uh, transferring of files, and then I actually lost a little bit of my Virgo video and had to go back and fix it. So, but my point being is that yesterday was St. Patty's Day, and today isn't St. Patty's Day, but then this is the first time I was able to get the video, but I'm still bringing that luck. I'm still bringing the luck of the leprechauns to you. I've got my green candle, and I've got my clovers. And then I've got Jupiter, who we're going to talk about. Now, right now, Jupiter and many other planets are in uh, Capricorn right now. And I can really see the connection of what's going on with the coronavirus. And everyone's, you know, putting a halt to work and really taking uh, stock of, like, what's important to them. And then the stock market crash. I mean, all of this is probably some sort of big-time lesson we are all supposed to be learning about work and our work ethic and our family and um, balancing what's really important to us. And so um, I'm really thinking that Jupiter has some messages for you um, in the house that it's transversing for you. And then we're going to find out what that is. But I also need your help because I want to um, feel what else is going on in your life right now. It could be coronavirus that you're thinking about where you really wish you had some luck in that area, or it could be um, a relationship or it could be career or it could be family it could be something else going on so I'm gonna have to really rely on the cards a lot more than I normally do just because I can't really feel um, anything coming through my 12th house like I normally can feel um, I can I, I get a sense of the collective consciousness but out of that I can usually um, sort of interpret uh, groups of people and people sending energy my way, but now it's really difficult, it's really stunted, it's hard to see. So what I'm going to do is rely a little bit more on the cards than my own empathic abilities. Although I have had a few uh, really positive dreams of the aftermath of this, where there's a lot more peace and a lot more harmony going on um, within groups. So let's just move to the cards, and I want you, Sagittarius, to let me know how you feel right now, and let me get a story from you so that I can do what I do best, which is bring love into your life, that Libra love, and see what we got going on, okay? So I'm going to pull four cards, and I'm going to try to see what the story is, and I'm getting your energy, Sagittarius, and I'm trying to see what it's about. Okay, well, one of the first things that jumped out of me is this citrine energy. Um, I'm feeling that citrine usually is about uh, wanting to uh, pull success towards you. It's wanting to um, finally um, be able to uh, have, like, luck and abundance, really. But it's, it's trying to pull positive energy towards you, money. Citrine is one of the colors. Um, I'm also feeling some of this jade. It seems to be that you're you're looking um, to have some sort of monetary thing, um, some positivity, and like maybe you just need to make money. Um, let's just see what the cards say, though, because again, like I said, some of my abilities are stunted at this time. I'm getting this cardinal. I'm getting a lot of cardinal cards tonight. Okay, so what I see first for you is this cardinal earth, okay? 
which is the king of pentacles. So that has to do right away with work. And then we have Mercury, which um, is a card about communication. It's also the magician. It's about um, being able to manifest. Then we have this card, which is upside down, which is the mutable air. Um, this is also the Prince of Swords. So there's could be a problem with communication there. It could be um, some, because it's upside down, a problem with uh, your soulmate or your uh, twin uh, love and or your twin flame. And then I also have this moon card here upside down, which is the high priestess. Okay, the high priestess. And this is about intuition. It's about hidden secrets. It's about uh, illuminating uh, things that need to come to light. Um, it's also uh, got uh, this priestess in the background reminding you to use your intuition. So with all that together, let's see what I'm looking at in terms of this entire story. We got the cardinal earth. So certainly you want to put roots down. Certainly uh, you want uh, something to go on with your career. Um, then you also have something you're trying to manifest here. And then you also have this muted, uh, mutable air, meaning that you are indecisive about something for sure. You're indecisive. And also it could be that something in your relationship, because we have this Gemini energy, is causing you to not have focus, causing you not to um, or to be worried about this other person more than you're worried about yourself. Um, it's preventing you from manifesting. It's preventing you from moving forward. And then we had also this upside down, which is your intuition, which is something inside of you that is telling you that you need to make a move and you have this uh, vision inside of you that needs to be illuminated, but it's not. So it's being stunted for some reason. It's upside down. It's It hasn't come to light yet. Um, maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe um, when you're ready, you're, you're going to be ready and this card is going to turn upright and then you're going to have the power of the high priestess. And then you're also going to have the prince of swords, that energy that it takes to decipher what you need to communicate with your partner, to communicate with your twin flame, your soulmate. You'll have this ability to um, know when the time is right, I feel like. But right now, um, you you do feel a little bit stuck, but I feel like you'll be able to come out of that. And I think that Jupiter is going to help you come out of that because, you know, you do have these gifts of manifestation. You know that you have magic inside of you. You know that you're able to um, put your roots down. You know, you probably already put some roots down, um, but now you want to manifest more. I feel like you want more. I feel like that's where I'm getting this citrine. You want more. You want more. You want more. That's that's what I feel right here is going on. You really want more, but there's some stuff holding you back. So let's find out where Jupiter is for you. I actually had my daughter do these notes because she was home for, you know, home from school. And I wanted to tell her or explain to her what I do and what that when I'm talking about houses, what those mean. So I told her, go ahead, find out where Jupiter is for the different signs for this month and then write out their house and then tell me something about the house and where they can find luck. And so she was on the previous videos, you know, reading this out. Um, so that was really fun for me. She's, she sort of was a little bit shyer than she actually normally is. But then I'm going to use, you know, her notes for what she wrote down. So for you, Sagittarius, she's saying that your luck would come from your second house, which has to do with resourcefulness and money and gifts and personal possessions and strong self-image, self-worth and financial security and values. And that's basically what I normally see with the second house is these this financial security. So that is really what you're looking for, Sagittarius, is you want your blessing to come in a monetary way. You want your blessing to come in a monetary way. You want, you have something going for you already but you really need more. And it's not out of greed that you want more. It's out of, 
it's out of um, security and uh, uh, personal. It's something that the money I feel like is going to come from you, like your personal growth or you finding your something you're passionate about, something that you feel um, is worth your time. And that's that's where I feel like that wanting more, it's going to come out of your creativity and something that you do. And you will be blessed in the house of possessions. You will be blessed um, in the house of monetary value in your second house. So let's just get some clarification. I really like when I see this because when we think of luck, um, you know, on St. Patty's Day, we think of that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I, and I just did a reading for Scorpio earlier, and, and I didn't see that. I saw them being completely worried about the coronavirus, and, you know, there was no pot of gold. It was like they just needed to get through this time frame um, because it was doing their head in. So, But for you, Sagittarius, I'm feeling that um, you're looking forward already. You're looking to the future already, and you're... You, this may be, the coronavirus may be slowing you down, but it's not stopping you from dreaming and stopping you from trying to manifest or looking towards the future. So let's just see what Jupiter has for you. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what he has. Let's get some clarification again with the water and the fire. I'm getting so many of these Ten of Cups. It's upside down for you right now, but I really I think that on every clarification that I've gotten in the previous signs, there's been all this water sign of Ten of Cups. Um, it's like I feel like it's trying to tell you to come together for some reason and uh, to use this uh, wealth of emotion that you have so that uh, it can pay off somehow, or it's going to make some sort of connection. Um, maybe, Sagittarius, you haven't been making connections so well uh, with people around you or even connecting with them psychically or connecting um, with them um, in some sort of determined way. Um, maybe you've gone into yourself a little bit more. I, I feel like that's part of this beginning of the story here. And then I've got this fixed fire card which is uh, also was upside down for you. And it's the uh, queen of wands. Again, you're trying to manifest something. You're trying to find your inner strength. You're trying to move forward. Um, you need that, the pride within yourself to come out. You're still trying to move forward. And then this Neptune energy, which is the hangman. Okay, and then that this card is upright for you. So this is telling me that you're still in a phase of reflecting. It's like you you want something monetary, you want wealth to come your way, but you're still in this situation where um, you're thinking about it a lot. You're not really sure exactly um, what you want to do yet. And I think Jupiter is trying to tell you some a message here um, that to move forward um, and get out of the reflecting phase and start trying because right now you're not it's almost like a potential energy like storing up something for for when you're ready or for when when you're ready to make a move um you've got this pent up water here and you've got this pent up because these are upside down this pent up like uh courage but you don't know what to do with it you're still reflecting or you're still uh stuck in some sort of um, you know, relationship that you feel like is more important at this moment, or it's holding you back somehow at this moment, or it, you, the focus on it, your focus is on it at this moment. So, but you're, you're definitely going to be let out of your cage. I can feel that happening. I think Jupiter is going to do that for you in your second house. Um, you are going to stop reflecting. You're going to stop becoming the hangman and move forward. And I feel like all of this water energy is saying that it's almost like it's pent up and it's uh, saying um, I when when you're ready to figure out what it is that you want to do that's going to bring you the money, it's going to be just like a flood, a tidal wave with all of your your strength and your energy and your positivity. And it's all like the floodgate is going to be open and all this, you know, pent up uh 
where you were just standing there waiting and waiting for the kind of like the approval from your uh, from your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife to do this thing or to free up some time for you to be able to work on these things it's going to eventually just the floodgates will open the dam will break your energy is going to come out and then jupiter is going to gift you he's going to gift you because um you you're going to do this for yourself you are going to use this magician card and you're going to manifest this wealth for yourself. And everyone's going to stand back and say, dang, we never knew you could do this. Or we never knew you had this in you. We never knew. And then Jupiter is going to be like, yes. Okay. Floodgates open. Um, the, the way is clear and you're just going to bring everything you have to the table and it's going to work out for you. It's going to work out like magic and you're going to be the high priestess. Um, you're going to have this fixed fire card turned upright where you're bringing the passion and the intuition. I really see this, you know, for you, Sagittarius, just really moving you forward. I think Jupiter has got some luck coming in the area of money and finance and in your second house. And you're finally going to have that breakthrough that you're looking for. I know it doesn't seem like right now, but it. I think that um, what you're looking at with this, you know, stock market going and crashing, there could be some opportunities on the other side of this tragedy. And it's maybe that's going to be your time to capital capitalize or your time to think of something that, um, you know, has value to other people and value to yourself and it's going to work out. So I really think that was a really good, you know, reading for you. It's, probably one of the more positive ones because it was about actually was about money <laughs> so um i think some's coming your way and I, I and i hope that it does and i hope that you know even if you didn't get to enjoy saint patty's day that you know you have the luck of the leprechauns and i hope to see you next time on my channel the zodiac love tarot and um, thank you for joining me and uh hopefully there will be some more videos coming out because i have given myself a little more time to do some extra so um, hope you uh, kind of, you know, visit my channel and see if there's anything you're interested in. All right. Thanks, Sagittarius. See you later. Bye.